we need to speak in like layman terms, simplify things for our viewers because this is serious. We want to understand why it is. What is this bacterial resistance then or antibiotic resistance and why is it a threat to global public health as the WHO says and Dr. Koya says it's as serious as climate change. Thank you, Sarah, for raising this point at a public uh, forum like, you know, we the people. And I think I agree with uh, Dr. Shafi that it is as probably important as climate change. Let's understand where do these bacteria come from. Each one of us has in our intestines about one and a half kilograms of bacteria. They are commensals. They are our friends. They are the ones, these bacteria process your food and make it usable. They extract the energy from the food. So they are good for us. But we spoil them and we spoil them by using antibiotics right from childhood. A little bit of cough and cold and the mom and the dog, they give antibiotics to the child. And this goes throughout and this is very common in our country. So when you use an antibiotic, some of the good friends also die with the bad bugs. And the bugs keep changing in their own system. So you're all aware of the COVID system. There is a resistance. The vaccines don't work. How one part of the vaccine, one part of the virus goes to the other and they join and they make a new, that's a mutant. Mm. If you give antibiotics off and on, the bacteria which you have, they change, they become resistant and they will not work when you give the same antibiotic next time. So in simple terms, antibiotic resistance develops from misuse and sometimes you don't take a full course. Half yeah. use, repeated use, using a friend's prescription, he has taken this, so I also take it. So this kind of an approach when you are not using the right drug for the correct pathogenic bacteria and 30 to 50 percent of our prescriptions are unnecessary or are smaller in quantity, smaller in duration, unnecessary. Because of all this, our intestinal bacteria change. Now, how do they get out from intestine? They get out into the blood. If you are taking, I shouldn't say alcohol or something, a beverage which causes leakiness of your gut. So your gut is a tight compartment. Yeah. From this, the bacteria cannot go. But if they go out, they go into your system and slowly with different kinds of antibiotic repeated usages, they become super bugs. They won't at all work and the antibiotics become useless for us. So, so they and kind I of think become like a mutant, uh, strange strain and no yes. nothing you throw at them, no medicine you throw at them works. You have to keep discovering or coming up with new medication, which we obviously You are responsible. Have.